so dedicated to my destination. I'ma get it how I live it with no hesitation. See me making moves and all this training proof so that I'm possible. What I need you guys to understand is that there is no trainer, training style, training approach, anything, anybody who can take credit for any player and say, I built that person. And you know that as basketball players. And the reason why I'm bringing this up because I wanna get into how you approach training a little bit differently. See, there is too many people in too many roles involved with any individual basketball player. And so there's never gonna be one person or one way of doing anything that will say, that was it. And this is exactly what I'm trying to get people to understand when we're talking about the game of basketball, when we're talking about development, there should never be a person that can take that much credit. I've never been a trainer that has taken credit for anybody of saying, I'm the reason that this person is successful or not. And it should never be the question that you're asking of me either. See, there's too many factors to consider. They have their coaches from AAU, from high school, college, and so on. They have strength coaches, they have mentors, they have different skill trainers, game enhancement trainers. There's team staffs that they play, that they actually have at different levels. There's just simply too many factors that go into what makes a person successful. And so it would be extremely egotistical of me to ever say that I built anybody from scratch. Here's what I can say just about me personally, about the different people that I've been around is I can say that every single person that I've been able to work with, I've been able to give them something they did not have before I was with them. And so I've been able to leave my mark with everybody, right? And so I've made a difference with the players that I've trained, even if it's just giving them one set of footwork, one skill, one way of doing something that they didn't have before. And that's the perspective I want you to start looking at when you're approaching training. Because a lot of times people are trying to find what's the best way, all right? So I'm gonna get, you have to get this many shots per day, you have to get this, this type of training there, you have to get that type of training there, all that other stuff is wrong. What I need you to understand is your goal in a workout like today is to simply find one thing that you did not have before you got here. That's it. It's always just what can I learn today about myself that I did not have yesterday. And that's my approach to basketball training. Having a great resume could mean that you're just obviously great at what you do. Or it could just mean that you're simply connected. So the difference is when you're looking at resumes, you can't just base everything off of that. Now, I know some great trainers out there that all they do is train young kids. That's their niche, that's what they're good at, that's where they say. I know some trainers who train NBA players who, for the most part, in my opinion, probably really aren't that great. But what it comes down to is you got to look at the content that they are bringing to you. Are they teaching you something new or are they putting you just kind of through the motions of getting up shots? Now, everybody knows that education is such an important of not only just life, but the game of basketball. If you don't feel like you're getting educated each time that you step onto the court, there might be some issues there with that type of training. At that point, you're almost just out there just working out, working up a sweat. And that's why when you look for a trainer, you want to look for somebody who's providing you with the most available knowledge that you could possibly get. It. After all, the whole point of having a trainer is having somebody that's going to give you information to go work out on your own. For one, that's how you build that self-esteem. You build it by yourself. But if you're going to a trainer and you're not learning anything new to take to your house or to your court that's local to work out, how valuable is that training? They might have a big resume, but at the same time, if the only time you can really work out is with them, that's not bringing much value to you. Now, if you have a trainer that you're seeing maybe once, twice a month, three times a month at most, but you're getting enough value and content within that workout, now they might not have the NBA resume, they might not have you know, all the local players, but they're giving you what you need to work on precisely on your own. Now that's a great trainer. That's giving you the ability to actually go home, work out, work on your own, work by yourself. When everybody knows that's how you get good, it's the hours you put in by yourself in the gym alone. But now you have the ability to do that because your trainer is providing you the content, the workouts that you need to have to work out on your own. So you can't always be tricked by resumes. Sometimes it can be a great way to look into a trainer, no one is gonna build any player out of scratch. 
And as soon as we get out of that mindset of judging skill development in that way, we'll be able to really start to better understand what's actually helping basketball players that's out there in the industry. Because that's what players really, really need. They need to have an understanding of what they can actually do to help themselves improve. And so we have to stop arguing about what's best, as our message always is, we're not right, we're just not wrong. We're a supplement for skill enhancement training. We have things to offer from our perspective. And so I would recommend that you train with people like us, and you train with people who do more game situations, and you get development from your coach, and you understand strength and conditioning, and you understand nutrition. You're simply understanding the different elements of development that you're needing to be successful in the game of basketball. It's about you finding a team and about you finding more options. Not about anybody taking credit for any player.